Hi guys, it's Disfang. I thought I'd try a different style of video today. I'm gonna show you a simple trick to writing better EDM melodies. I don't really have an intro, so uh, let, let's get started. So here we are in FL Studio, and I have a bunch of these little three note melodic phrases. What are these, I hear you ask? These are what I like to call our three note motifs. These are essentially the building blocks to writing a good melody. I also have some four note motifs over here if you're into that. So how do you use these exactly? Well the first step would be to write a chord progression or you could just use one of these four chord pop progressions if you're lazy. I've prepared this one over here. Next step would be to just place some of these motifs uh, anywhere that sounds good. This requires a lot of experimentation, but if it sounds good, keep it. One thing I'd like to mention is that you're free to modify these in any way you want. Like you can make them longer, you can make them shorter, you can transpose some of the notes an octave up or down. It's up to you. If you want, you can combine motifs, but just make sure that the last note of the first motif is the same as the first note of the second motif. So let's say I have this one here and I wanted to combine it with this one. The last note of this one is C, and the first note of this one is also C. So what we can do is remove this one, and then just bring this up here. And now we have this. Another thing is that you need to make sure that the motif you've chosen fits the chord that you're currently on. So if I chose this motif, and put it over a C major chord, it doesn't sound very nice. That's because A isn't in the chord of C major. I tested, and luckily, all of these fit the basic chords that you should find in every chord progression, that being the first chord, the fourth chord, the fifth chord, and the sixth chord. So uh, don't do this unless you can pull it off like The Weeknd did. No, don't. So here's the melody I've written. So, what do you do once you've written a melody? Well now, you can uh, transpose this up or down a random number of times uh, until it sounds good. It should sound good in any key, but pick the one that sounds the most inspiring. Congratulations, you have successfully written a dope melody. Subscribe.